Hello world and welcome to the next video. Chris Christie went on ABC to discuss how the Supreme Court rejected the Texas election lawsuit and how so many House Republicans signed on to this lawsuit and wanted to see it succeed. Despite the fact there is no substantive evidence of election fraud and despite the fact that one state does not have a say over how elections are run in other states. Let's watch the clip on ABC. I'm going to start with you. You have said numerous times the president should just end his quest to overturn the election results, but he continues to dispute it with 60 percent of Republicans in the House supporting that Texas case. What's your message to the Republicans? Well, listen, the, the legal theory put forward by his legal team and by the president um, is an absurdity. And the reason why the Supreme Court didn't take it is because it's an absurd idea to think that any state or any number of states, no matter how good they are, um, can challenge another state's uh, right to run the election as they see fit. Uh, and also, there's no evidence. As, we've, as I've been saying since election night, um, show us the evidence. And, and what's gotten even worse, though, Martha, I think, is, is the attacks by the president on good, hardworking, decent Republican governors. And, and you've seen his attitude towards these folks change. Um, and, and let's think about why. You know, back in, in September, he said about Doug Ducey, Doug is tough, Doug is strong, Doug is a good governor, the Arizona governor. Uh, he said about Brian Kemp back in the summer, uh, you know, that Brian is a capable man, he knows what he's doing, um, and he's done a very good job as governor. Now, after the election is over and he lost, Arizona and Georgia. He says they're rhinos that are working harder against him. Um, they're, he's calling them corrupt uh, and also telling people things that aren't true. You know, so, so uh, Chris, what instance, happens Georgia, to your he's party? He's talking about signature verification. Oh, uh, listen, you know, Martha's going to be have people are going to have to stand up and start to say these things. I mean, you know, the fact is in Georgia, and people should know this, that signature verification, which the president continues to tweet about, has been done twice in this election. It was done when the application for a mail-in ballot was sent in, and it was done when that mail-in ballot was ultimately sent in. And Governor Kemp has said this, the lieutenant governor has said it, the secretary of state has said it. And so, you know, it's got, the reason the Supreme Court is not taking this is not because of a lack of courage. It's for the same reason that every court has thrown this out. It's a lack of evidence and a lack of any type of legal theory that makes any sense. And the worst part, though, is attacking these, these guys, guys like Brian Kemp, Doug Ducey, and others who are following the Constitution and executing the oath that they took. Over and over again, President Trump turns on anyone who does not support him completely, utterly, 100%. Even when he makes mistakes, if you don't support him, he turns on you and does not have your back, doesn't want to work together, he throws you completely 100% under the bus. This happened with the voters many times, where he says he's fighting for some issue, and then does nothing about it and keeps lying and pretending that he's working on the issue. It happens about the election fraud that he says exists, but they have no evidence. The courts are throwing it out around the country. Every appointed justice by President Trump, all three, say that there's no evidence of widespread voter fraud. The court unanimously throws it all out throws these cases out. And the House Republicans who are signing on to this bill, they know that there's no evidence, yet they're trying to overthrow the results of a fair election anyway. And for those of us paying attention, that will never be forgotten, nor should it be forgotten, because they know what they're doing. They're throwing out the rules, the Constitution, in favor of authoritarianism and fascism. And everybody watching will not forget. If you enjoy my commentary, please like this video, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.